gonna crush Roman, man. Ah, don't do it, Solo! Superman punch! Ooh! <laughs> the real tribal chief! The only tribal chief! The original tribal chief! <laughs> and he's got the bloodline ones on! You can get them soon. Ooh! Ah. Oh, Fatu pulled him out! Hey, details, man. That's what happened when, um... Remember that happened that happened prior when, when Roman used to do that? He used to do it to Solo. Oh, Roman, yes! Roman Fatu! Roman Fatu! It's calling him in. He wants him one-on-one, -on -one, face to face! Oh, my God! I really don't want Cody and Roman to call no truce, though. But I know that match is going to happen at Bad Blood, but I... I, I Here we go. Jacob Fatu closes the cage. Roman and Jacob Fatu, one on one, the rest of the bloodline are down and they are having their stare off of a lifetime. Oh my God. Ah! Fatu's losing his mind. And Solo pulls him out. Shades of Roman sat, sat pulling Solo out. When he was the enforcer, oh my god, Tamatonga with the attack on Roman! Oh, Tonga lower, Tamatonga! Yeah, 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 yeah! Cody, get up! Cody, get up! Roman here to save SmackDown! SmackDown has been rubbish without Roman! There's Cody! Tonga lower head first into the cage! Oh! Oh my crossroads! Crossroads! Ooh! Ah! <laughs> oh, and Roman looks over his shoulder at Cody and Cody stares at the back of Roman Port. Ah, oh, the slow turnaround, the theatre's back, baby. Cinematic drama. Ah, oh, without Roman, wrestling sucks. It sucks without Reigns. Cody, you suck without Reigns, bro. Sorry. Sorry, Cody. Uh, I lose my head sometimes, man, but... Ah, uh, Jacob Fatu places the Ula Fala beads on the neck of Solo. On oh, the neck of Solo. On the neck of Solo. And Solo says to Roman, You ain't the chief. I'm the chief. As Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes stand side by side. And Cody has the title in his hands. And Roman looks at the Ula Fala beads. And then he looks at the title. And then he looks at the beads. And then he looks at the title. Oh my God, Roman, what do you choose? What do you want the most? Oh, ah. Yeah, man, SmackDown Final Thoughts. You know, like that. Listen, I don't want to be too extreme. So I'm not going to be. So I'm going to say, this is the best SmackDown. Since the SmackDown after Wrestle since the SmackDown before WrestleMania, it, listen, argue with yourselves in the chat. But I'm telling you, without Roman Reigns, SmackDown sucks. And SmackDown was kicking Raw's ass for a whole year, two years, and all that stuff. But SmackDown's been getting worse than Raw, and Raw's not even the best. This SmackDown was the best night. It was the premiere, so there is a caveat to them pulling out all the stops. But for me, all the stops that they pulled out are there at their disposal anyway. So why not do it every week? Why not give the fans the best show you possibly can? Stop throwing the book in. Stop giving us lazy house shows but on live TV. We want proper wrestling shows. We want drama. We want theatre. We want cinematic. We want comedy. We want great wrestling matches. We want storylines. We don't want... Which happened tonight again, by the way. No disrespect to these two, but... I didn't need to see Carmelo Hayes vs Andrade five times in a row. Five times?! Booker T?! Speaking of Booker T, Booker T was in the crowd with his queen, Sharmal Booker. You know, we had Teddy Long there, Harlow player, player, and we had Mr. Dyer. We had them, um, the stars were around. Now, don't get me wrong, we don't need legends every week. We had RVD here today. We don't need legends every week. We don't need that. Because there has to be a point where the young talent get to move on from the legends. You don't want to keep throwing it back in their faces that you're not doing your job properly after bringing in legends. But it's nice to see them. It's nice to see them thriving, healthy, living. I love that. But everything else, all the stuff I just said, you can do that every week. And the reason why we know you can do that every week because you used to do it every week and you did it every week when The Rock turned up only 
six, seven months ago. So there's no excuse not to do it. Triple H came out, it's a new era, USA Network, all of that business. We know that's business jargon. You, Fox didn't want to renew the contract, you went back to USA safe. But SmackDown's back at its home. Let's do that, man. Commentary, get exciting. Storylines, let's bring it back. SmackDown was great, man. I, I enjoyed it today. I say great, great, strong, because realistically, it was good because it's been rubbish. But this was a very good SmackDown show. There's me being fair about it. You know what I mean? I like the way it went, the way they kicked off the show. Steel Cage match was brilliant. I think the match was brilliant. I think that was Solo's best match he's had in the WWE. I loved it. And of course he lost. We knew that was going to happen. But it was nice you get to see him, you know, go through the ringer. 24-minute match, 20-minute match. Go through everything, crossroads, flying, spinning solo, frog splashes off the cage, Cody cutters off the cage. It was brilliant. Um, we knew the bloodline would probably get involved in the end, and they did, but that was fine as well. Um, is there anything I didn't like through the show? Obviously, personally, I did. I liked, I liked the fact that Roman finally came out and spoke. It's the first time he spoke since Mania. It's a long time. He's been on the show, but he ain't said any words. I liked the way he put down the gauntlet and said, I don't need... I don't need Nick Aldis, I don't need the Bloodline, I don't need Cody Rhodes. I'll take him on myself at Bloodline, I mean at Bad Blood. Bad Blood, Bloodline makes perfect sense, but obviously now we know we're going to get Cody Rhodes and Roman versus Solo and Jacob Fatu, which will be a great match, but I don't like it. I don't like the Smos matches. I don't like tag team matches over and over again when they don't have a title involved, unless the story is heightened. The story is not heightened because by this time, Cody should be done with the bloodline. The Roman's tag partner should be somebody completely different. But they need to find something to do. It's kind of sad that they can never find a rival to go against Cody. So we had Kevin Owens last time. He had to go against his friend. You know what I mean? It's, it's terrible. Maybe move Roman, Randy Orton on to Cody now or something and then let the bloodline take force with their story. But can't complain about everything. Um, we had... I like the fact that they build all the stuff for Bad Blood as well because sometimes they do it like a week before and it's, you know what I mean? They had Nia Jax, um, I think they've got like Naomi versus Bailey next week, I think it is. No, Naomi and Bailey take on Nia Jax and Tiffany Stratton and then if, if Naomi and Bailey win, they, whoever wins got the pin gets a title shot at Bad Blood. I think that stipulation was stupid. Should have just went for a triple threat match. I think it's still going to end up as a triple threat match though because I feel like Something will happen in the next match. And I think Nia added the stipulation that if they lose, the, the person who gets pinned has to leave SmackDown. Terrible. Didn't particularly like this segment, but I like Tiffany Stratton in this segment. Yeah, same. So, I thought that was cool as well. We had um, Kevin Owens and, and Randy versus A-Town down under. Trash. The match was great. The the build, the, Everything in the match was great, but story behind it, trash. Blood. Like, I'm bored of it now. I'm bored of that. Andrade and... Carmelo Hayes again. I'm bored of that. Although, again, another great match. So you had a lot of great matches on this show. It's just that some of the stuff I'm a bit bored of. But I did like the backstage segments with RVD and, and Chelsea Green and stuff like that. I liked Ron Simmons. Uh, damn! And, and Teddy Long and, and Kathy Kelly. I, lo I loved all of that, man. So all in all, really good SmackDown. I'd probably give the SmackDown 7.5 out of 10 to 8. Maybe 7. Yeah, we'll give it 8. Out. We'll give it 7.5 out of 10. Uh, because of my levels and the... the the standards that SmackDown have set when The Rock was there with Roman. You know what I mean? So we need to keep that going, but I'm sure we'll get it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And let me know if you think like this style, because obviously I didn't do the video on video because I'm trying not to get copyrighted because my, vid, my, my YouTube channel has been shadow banned 100% now. I spoke to some people behind the scenes and I'm trying to get it back sorted. If it doesn't get back sorted, I'm going to have to start a new channel. Anyway. <sighs> right.